So hey, Michael, what are we gonna do today? We are in Detroit. We're gonna go see where I grew up at. So and like then, a tour around the neighborhood? Sure. Okay. And then later on tonight, we're gonna go to um, Beetlejuice Play. So you lived in Detroit? For 10 years. For 10 years you lived in Detroit. And where, what street did you live on? I even remember the address. 13818 Bringard was one of them. That's the only one I can remember, but. All right. So how old were you when you lived here then? Have you lived here for 10 years? Well, I moved here from California when I was eight. So from eight till I was 16. Okay. So eight years. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> so we'll, we'll hear about that. And then I'm super excited, um, not only to see where he grew up, but um, to go see Beetlejuice um, at the Detroit Opera House. Very exciting. So let's go. feet turn left onto Bringard Drive. Okay, tell me that story again. What happened at that corner? So the light that we just turned at, me and my mom sitting at the light, red light, and uh, some, some lady jumped in the back seat. She's like, go, go, go. He's going to kill me. My boyfriend's going to kill me. Take the next left onto Bringard Drive. And uh, the light turned green. My mom went up to the next available spot she can pull over and made her get out that's crazy several empty houses right there they look like they were on fire burnt down in 800 feet your destination will be on the right Ooh, on the right 800 feet so this is the Elementary school. John, John Tricks. Tricks Elementary. Tricks Academy. Up. It looks like it is not a working school anymore. I used to throw rocks at the windows in that alleyway right over there. You used to throw rocks at the windows? Yeah. Your destination hoodlum. is on the right. I was a little hoodlum. So. Right here where all this trash is. That's the house. So the house with all the trash in front of it. Yeah. 13818. We'll park the car, we'll get out. We'll park the car and get out. And... So this is your neighborhood? This was my old stomping grounds many, many years ago. And how old were you? Um, from the age of 8 to 16. 16. So this is the house that you used to live in. And where was your room? Um, second window, but in the back. Oh, so you were on the back side. And then I moved to the basement. Oh. So my room was in the basement as well. That house right there used to be a little old lady. She used to dress up as a clown. That's what she did, go to parties and stuff. And I used to cut her grass. What about that house? I used to cut their grass. Oh, so these are the lawns you were telling me that you used to cut. Yeah. They're covered in snow now, but he used to tell me about lawns that he would cut. How much did you get for cutting lawns? Five bucks a lawn. Five dollars a lawn. This is it. So it's corner of Reno and what do you, how did you say that? Ring guard. Ring guard. And that's the elementary school right there. 
that is an alleyway that will lead to our backyard. Stay in the alleyway and throw, throw rocks at the window. <laughs> at the elementary school? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I was a little hoodlum. That's why my parents moved. <laughs> Didn't you say there was something about the other houses around here? Um, that one. Which one? That one there. Which one? That one. The white one? Yeah. There's a girl I used to walk to school with. When, they, when she moved in there. Um, this one, I used to always cut her... Uh, um, paint his garage. You said that was a old man that what? Didn't have any kids? Didn't have no kids, just paid me to paint his garage. I was, I was a little hustler back in the day. So did any did any of your friends live on this block? Yeah, there's a few houses down about where that mailbox or that post office truck is. Okay, so like way down there. Yeah. But as you can see, all the houses so close together, come Halloween time, it was awesome. I mean, it was house to house to house. I'd get candy for like a year straight. I would go back to the house, drop off a bag of candy, get another bag, go back around again. Oh, that's cool. funny. Very cool. So are there other stomping grounds that you... We'll go see the middle school, if I remember where it's at. I do know where the high school is. That's, you know, on Seven Mile and Hoover. You'll take us over that. This right here, somebody stole a car. They ended up, the cops or something ended up blowing out. I think it was that house right there. It was. Oh, hold on. Let me the turn you one. around here. I don't think ours. The white one? Yeah. And there was another one over in that house, the smaller one. But he, the, the car, they blew all the tires out and he was still going just on metal rims. The sparks were just flying as he was going by the house. It was pretty cool. <laughs> then this house coming up here, there's an old lady that's directly behind our property. So this is the street behind where you were? Where I lived. Okay. I believe it was. This one right here. Yeah, I used to cut his grass. I used to cut her grass. But she would always give you candy and gum and bite you in. And so the old lady would give you candy and gum for mowing her lawn or did she actually no, pay you? Just, just to, no, she paid me, but just before I started cutting her grass, she stopped you. And what's crazy too, if you've seen a car, for whatever reason, this school parking lot, if you've seen a car park and somebody in it, yeah, you didn't want to go buy it. <laughs> Why? Oh, that's cool. That's a cute fence. They were doing the nasty. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> you didn't want to view that? That was a playground. Was that playground there when you were? Yeah. They actually, one time, they actually had um, army helicopters. It's a big old double propeller land in there, and we got to go in there and look at them and stuff like that. It was pretty cool. This is a much nicer neighborhood than I imagined you living in. Cause like, where's the store that you got your bike stolen from? Oh, it's back that way. So Michael had a very funny story about a bicycle. He got a new bicycle for his birthday, but he refused to to uh, ride it because he was afraid it was gonna get stolen. And so he kept riding his not so good bike his old bike and it had a wobbly wheel of some sort and then what happened i parked it outside and then when I, when I went in and then uh somebody stole it and as they were pedaling away they're like they're like wobbling all over the place looking at the back tire wondering what the heck's going on <laughs> you never found that bike again I, I, no i never he was going still going fast enough i couldn't chase him down so this liquor store right here you used to get? I used to stop there every day on the way to school or on the way home from school and get a bag of chips and bag of pop. I get a 20 ounce Faygo and a bag of chips for like a buck. Nowadays probably like five. <laughs> and 
how did you normally get to school? I walked. You walked this all this way? I walked all this. I could take the city bus if I want, but I hated it. You hated the city bus? Why did you hate the city bus? It was always packed. You had to stand and wasn't wasn't fun. <laughs> so the tickets, I would get tickets every week to ride the bus. I would sell them. You would sell them to who? Whoever needed tickets. Wow. Well. This is the school right here that I went to. Osborne. Osborne Schools? Osborne High. big pools like Olympic sized pools had diving board and everything I had to take gym class it was pretty cool what's over this way this way over here that small building there was for the um, driver's training class and you'd have to go in this building and then you take your class but the driving time was its actual it had its own course they had stop lights, stop signs. I would always get in trouble for squealing the tires. <laughs> oh, there's a stadium thing over there. Is that where they played like football? Yeah. Did you play any sports? I did not. You did not play sports. So you said the course was over here? That's kind of a cool sign, all rugged it out. Oh, you can kind of see. So it's all paved over this way? Oh yeah, there is. There's a stoplight that, kind of hard to see through this fence. But you can see the spotlight, or the stoplight. Where's my finger? There it is off in the distance there and then it looks like there's a road he said it's paved road that's kind of cool so that's where you took your driver's training yes that's why i'm an awesome driver yeah you are <laughs> i still like to squeal my tires <laughs> This is the hallway that went to the swimming pools, like ROTC. What is ROTC? I don't remember what it stands for. Well, what, what is it? It was like military. For... Oh, the mil okay, gotcha. So this is just a hallway? Yeah. Just imagine, there was like at the time, three, 4,000 students. Roman these hallways it was packed I mean shoulder to shoulder getting from class to class so just a hallway <laughs> yeah, just a hallway, just a hallway. Huh. You see it, like, bars up on windows oh yeah So to get in the building every morning, to get into school, you had to go through metal detectors and they also had security guards with the wands. And uh, yeah, it, you know, they always caught people with knives and 
few times with guns and stuff like that but i always carried it was a nail clipper but then it had like this pointy hook looking thing on it so on the way to school walk in or going home i would always carry that in my hand open ready for whatever i got chased home from school once or twice but you know if it was one-on-one -on -one, i would have fought back but so what is your favorite memory of going to school here? Probably driver's training. Driver's training. <laughs> All right, so that was your school yeah. at the high school yeah. here in Detroit. And what town is this? East Detroit oh. and Seven Mile and Hoover. Well, that was pretty exciting, Michael. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> So that's kind of cute, um, seeing your little stomping grounds there. That's adorable. I can just imagine little Mikey walking to school. That's a long walk. That's a long walk. So right there in front of that school, I see that somebody car pull up or Four kids jumped out, surrounded this other kid. It's like, I want your coat type thing. He wouldn't give it up, so they shot him. You seen a kid seen get it. shot? I was on the other side of the street. For a coat? For a coat. Wow. I was chased home from school because they wanted my shoes. From those same people? No. Oh. Just a different group. Different group of kids. They wanted your shoes. But, <laughs> nostalgic maybe I like the dehydrated onions myself <laughs> I put a lot of them yeah, on there. they do have a different taste to them they... do you oh. get cheese or no cheese cheese of course cheese number two okay. <laughs> so we just pulled over um, so that we can eat the White Castle we stopped in front of this purple building, just some random place, no significance to it, top of Van Dyke. Um, so we're just gonna enjoy the White Castle. <laughs> Is it as good as you remember? White Castle. Stuff is falling all over the place. It's the onions. I love the onions. Good stuff. So you're glad you came back? Came back. To see your old stomping grounds. This is kind of cool to it's kind of cool to see again. You know, this has mustard on it. They did. They put mustard on it. Never had one with mustard on it before. So yeah, it's good though. Mmm. Just driving around here, it's crazy that I don't remember anything, but I do remember all the street names, Van Dyke, Garfield, all that stuff. It's and now it's time.